Open the first link below and then click download. Once the file is downloaded, open it with a zip application. Then extract it directly into your documents. You can now close these windows and open Vegas. Once you're in Vegas, go to Tools, Scripting, and then here you'll see Data Mix and Data Mosh. Select any one of them. This window will appear, prompting you to install Xvid. All you have to do is press OK, and then Yes. It will then install Xvid, the video codec needed, in the background. Wait for this window to appear. Once it has, click OK and then restart Sony Vegas. Once Vegas has restarted, go back to Tools, Scripting, and select Datamosh one more time. If this window appears, you've successfully installed the scripts. Now there's one more thing we have to do before continuing. Go into Options on Vegas and disable Automatic Crossfades. This will make the process a lot less tedious. Now that we've finished the installation process, let's move on to data moshing. Drag in your video into the timeline. Now with data moshing, the ideal time to data mosh is when a frame contains the most movement. As you see here, that's an ideal amount of movement. All you have to do is create a loop region. Drag above the timeline to do this. Now we have to make the loop region the amount of frames we want to data mosh. To see how many frames you've selected in the loop region, look at the bottom right. This measures how many frames there are. Now if it doesn't look like this, right click it and select time and frames. Now select the frame you want to data mosh or start the data mosh on. And in this case, since the video is quite low quality, data moshing with one frame would look a lot better than data moshing with three. One to three frames is usually the best. So wherever the start of the loop region is, that's where the data mosh starts. It's quite simple. So now we've selected the area, we can go to Tools, Scripting, and Data Mosh. Now in the cases that there are three frames you've selected, simply input three in the frame count. This here should always match the loop region amount of frames. So in the bottom right, you see there's just one, so we input just one. Now we can select the duration of the data mosh. So how many times it repeats? In most cases, 15 to 30 times is quite enough for a good data mosh, but you can do it as many times as you want. This will determine the time it takes to actually complete the process as well. So I'm going to input 15. Press OK, and it will do everything automatically and even add in the new video that it's rendered. So this is a proper data mosh, it's not a video effect, and it should look something like this. You see, a proper data mosh. There's one more amazing feature that is actually included into these scripts. It's called data mixing. Now this is a simple data mosh transition and it looks brilliant. Simply drag in the two clips you want to create this transition with. Go to the place of where you want the transition to be. This is usually at a cut. Now to data mix, you still use the loop region, but you start it on where you want the video to transition and you end it to where you want the data mix to stop. So usually maybe two seconds, it's all up to personal preference. Go to Tools, Scripting, Data Mix. Now it's going to do a lot of rendering and depending on how long you want the data mix to be, that's how long it'll take to render. It'll insert the video all automatically, you won't have to click a single thing, just try not to interrupt the process. So now the video has been inserted, you can now see the finishing result. So have fun with this, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.